And hello and welcome as the mothership that is your world of champions touches down in the place of safety. That's what it looks and feels like in a warmish Peter Mukaba Stadium. The battle lines have been drawn for this afternoon's crunch encounter. The fans already have started to make their way to the Peter Mukaba Stadium. We're about three k's away from uh, the city centre. Monomo Pulukwani. Oh, they look to fake it and then they finally make it. They do. That's the early goal. Stellenbosch caught catching ZZs. Are they going to catch a big L now? It's the skipper. Oh my, what a start to the game. Barely two minutes on the clock. We have lift off. Brilliant ball from Duduzi, the young man in the central middle group they introduced during the playoffs. And you can see Shaku, the captain, captain my captain, taking responsibility, reading the game, the ball very well. Temba, this is a move that was made at training. Yeah. You, you could tell even the fake the ball they had and Maguire playing that crucial ball in the ball. Punch, Masanamela looking to punch a hole. And uh, this is Stellenbosch at defense. Um, Matthew Roel says no for in the meantime. Who says when you get old, you don't get greater? I mean, Punch Masanamela has just shown us that he's been improving game by game. He's got in a lifeline. That's on the far side, now they come from Bardi down. And a clip little ball now, an opportunity. What happened there? For a second, I thought the ball was goal bound. Mweti again in the right place. You mentioned how much of a thorn has been in the side of the Stellenbosch side. Oh, Mweti comes in at the header. Muru not even looking at the ball. Play on, I would say. Play on. What a cross on the far side. Kaswani. <laughs> Stellenbosch being their own enemies. Are they going to give up? Bakas an opportunity. Mtanzani. Looks for the spectacular outside of the finish chip with his left foot. Perhaps using his right foot would have been a better option. Nonetheless, hindsight is a great thing. Tutuzim Tansani has had a decent first half alongside Matroha and Khaswani. And uh, right back, Khotiani, they've done ever so. As you see, they're getting themselves in all sorts of trouble. It's the skipper, Junaid Sat, who loses out initially. Nice little interplay as well, Khaswani. Not forget as well it's a super saturday it's not very often oh there's an opportunity is that the second hits the post the outside of it or the inside the ball ricochets back into a fortuitously plays so marcus lackey they've let themselves down not to for the first time in this match look at that they clip it over it's that man matthew Ruel, who threw himself to the ground and for all money was beaten a ruby was beaten the inside of the post was not though Brilliant, brilliant move from Arubi. If he would have stayed, El Zolo is going to be able to control it. He just came out not knowing what he's going to do, but just try to close the angle. I'll get back to that point as they look to put it to rest. This time, they do. Same pole, different outcome. It's that man to do some dance on him. That's just that, that, that sugar. That sugar ding ding. <laughs> uh, oh. the, the young man actually making that lane run, late run in the box, a little and picking him up. And you know what he did so clever? He looked where the keeper was. He saw that Lakey was behind him and he just clipped it far post and it hit the post back in the ball. But he's been doing that since the first game of the playoff. He's been having those late runs and being unfortunate. Today he's rewarded again, persistent. Persistent, persistent. Yarob Moro now, 25 year old midfielder. Looks to deliver the likes of Lecky, Dube in waiting. Moro whips in a delicious looking ball. Masuluke for once, lost under the flight. At the second time of asking, that's a stylish looking save. Referee Chris Harrison, a grimace. Under the face of uh, Semi Trautin is it the death rattle for the man from the Western Cape or from the team from Polokwane, the likes of Oscarin Masuluke. In the meantime, it was uh, the man from Polokwane, Barashate. It was 2-0 to Pakaka in the promotion playoff.